And thank you, Christina, who answered that question. Um, you know, Shave uh, asked what uh, what is what J what JV deals, uh, what are JV deals? So, um, and I'm hopefully I'm not you know mispronouncing your name, but uh, JV is called joint venture. Okay, joint venture is when you get uh, two wholesalers. One has the contract uh, from the direct seller, and then possibly another one that has the buyer, and then you guys do a what's a 50-50 split um, and on that. So, um, and kind of go from there. So, with that being said, ooh, put this in there in the chat there. Um, my goal is two to three deals per month. Um, that's coming from one deal per month. Okay. So for me, that's double and tripling my deals. And I think that's definitely doable. So um, when, when you would, say deals, are you speaking specifically wholesales or are you, are you talking about purchases, transactions? What I'm are you? I'm specifically talking about wholesale deals. Okay. So because the reason why I say that right now is because that's what I do right now. I specifically just wholesale at the moment. Okay. I will be bringing up some other goals for more other opportunities a little bit later. But right now that's just specifically talking about wholesale. Um, so, uh, Khalif, what do you, what, what, what is your goal on that? Um, I'm, I'm kind of in alignment with you, um, to keep the wholesale machine um steady and getting processes and procedures in place to consistently do mm -hmm. at least two uh to three deals a month mm -hmm. but my goal with the way the market is shifting yep. um, um and the whole reason i initially got into wholesale uh back in 2018 was the anticipation of a market shift then you know and here we are years later um and maybe we're on the brink of it um but i said all that to say i got into it back then as a way to get creative, to get properties, um, you know, for pennies on the dollar mm -hmm. to, be, to begin acquiring rentals. Right. So, um, that's my thing with leads that are coming in um, or joint ventures is to kind of look at them with the eyes of a uh, buy and hold investor to figure out how to either take them down cash or put together creative offers to start um buying and holding some of these things this upcoming year right so my That's goal awesome. with this first quarter is to get one locked down okay um prayerfully end the year with two lockdown mm -hmm. um and i want to do them creatively so and um, is that a buy is going to be a buy and hold not buy a and hold, yep. okay buy That's and awesome. hold um to to try to take those down creatively and and you know take them over with the the smallest amount of cash out of pocket um is my goal um just i know if you kind of box yourself in to figure it out mm -hmm. um you know it, it allows for the the creative process to get more in depth to figure out how to create a win-win um most most definitely yourself in the seller yeah most definitely now and I just I just added this so that we know that it's a whole these are wholesale deals. Yep. Okay. So I also have a a goal as well, and that is to get and I don't have it specifically set to a quarter, okay, um, or anything like that, but I at least want to do one uh wholesale uh sorry, wholesale creative deal okay and i want to do one wholesale creative uh actually let me take this take that back one creative so i want to keep i want to do a wholesale deal uh that is creative and i also want to keep a creative deal and and buy and hold it so I know these are low numbers and this is probably easy. And I, this is probably could be easily done up to like five, you know, but 
right now because I've never done a creative deal on wholesaling or, or anything like that. Um, it is, that's why I was saying one. So I got to get past the first hurdle of actually doing it. You know, everything that I've done has been cash deals. So, um, and kind of going from there now. All right. So this will be, this will be one. All right. And, um, the creative keep is going to be one buy and hold right now. I just want to constantly, if, if there's more deals that come up later on, then I'll keep more. Um, we'll go beyond that. But my goal is at least one at the moment. So what about you, Gerald? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, for me, uh, the goal for me right now is to raise 10 million. Uh, cause okay. I, have a, I have a real estate fund. Okay. So, so raising 10 million yeah, for the fund. fund. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is, this is, uh, by mid year, I, I, okay. I work, I work my deals in quarters. I mean, I okay. work my goals in quarters, 90 days segments, and I yep. give myself two quarters to kind of build. Um, gotcha. And then uh, I want to get to a thousand doors. And currently I'm at 182. Um, okay. And um, I want to get my wholesaling up to actively wholesaling five five deals a month okay uh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well it's it's yeah. the, the way my system works is uh because i'm a coach and mentor mm -hmm. um i do a lot of jv's joint ventures with my students yep. so i'm walking them through the process holding their hands and i've been doing it for a little over 15 yeah. years so i have some momentum you know that okay. part i'm not starting from scratch uh, and so it's not hard to kind of, you know, hit those types of targets um, gotcha. with some consistency. Yeah. So mo that's most definitely um, one thing that we are going to, I, I, I think 10 million is, whew, I, I've it's actually, million, it's so. actually not a lot of money at all. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. when you put it into perspective. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm working on a four, 416 unit deal in Louisiana. Okay. And that's half the deals you need. That's half the doors you need right there. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know, and, you know? and so um, if, 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 if that takes me 5 million to do, and again, yep. you would divide that number by the amount of doors, you know, mm -hmm. It, it, it becomes manageable most definitely you know like I'm, yep. I'm in i'm in kansas city right now and i'm working on a 30 unit here and it's a three and a half million dollar deal but that's like a hundred sixteen thousand a door right you know so it's not it's not as far fetch or out of reach okay you know, it's the same type of math and same type of uh, an analysis you just you're you're doing it you know, over five or 10 units or 20 units. And so you just kind of most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's one thing that I need to get a little bit better at. I've already actually discussed that with you on uh, Gerald. It, I need to get better at uh, comping the multifamily. So, um, and then, so, you know, obviously that's another goal. We don't need to really write it down, but, um, you know, I I want to get more in the multifamily space. I want to get more in what we're doing there. Um, you know, but I'm getting my my cold calling set back up. So not only am I going to do JV deals, but I'm also going to, uh, you know, I'm going to set up my my uh, cold calling. Uh, systems and I got them pretty much dialed in I uh, but I still need some more tweaking there's still some things that need to be done and then I also need to build um, uh, build better lists better lists to call Okay. 
And I know that's not a very measurable thing to do, but when you're coming from zero at the moment, everything is, you know, starting out. So for me, um, you know, we are going to build better lists, okay, to come out. We're going to build better cold calling systems, okay? And I'm also going to be training more, uh, training uh, VA. Right now I have one VA, um, and I'm going to be training her, uh, even though I've already trained her before because we've worked together. I want also to be able to, to uh, expand into two or three other VAs as well. Okay. So, um, expand to two to three VAs. And the only thing that will help me get to that, okay, is the only thing that will help me get to that is this two to three deals per month. Okay. If I don't get these two to three deals per month, I can't do this. So, and even if I have, to, so what I also want to do is help other people out on how to do this. So I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, um, I'm building these systems, but I'm, I'm trying to build some sort of SOP. Okay. And with that, then I, I'm going to, um, sorry, real quick, Christina, a VA is a, a virtual assistant. Okay. A virtual assistant can be anywhere in the world and they're helping you out. So I appreciate asking the question though. Uh, thanks, Christina. I, uh, and so, a, a VA, my VA is out in the Philippines. Okay. And that's where you'll probably find most of them, but you can find VAs in the U S you can find them in India. You can find it wherever you want. It depends on what you're looking for them to do. Um, really depends on, uh, where you want to go. So, um, on that, what I also want to concentrate on is, you know, we are looking to help people um, get their first deal, but we're also, what I also want to learn is by doing this SOP on how we're doing this, I also want to help other people by having them implement it. And what, it, what this is gearing me up for is later on, if I decide, I'm not saying I am right now, if I decide to build a course later on, I can, and I'll have the things in process. So that's, that's kind of my, my deal. So when, when somebody wants to go and hop on a call with me, if it's only a quick five, 10 minute call, that's perfectly fine. But I'm going to try to stress to uh, do a video call, uh, to do a video call with people. Okay. And when I do that, I'm also going to record that. So we have that. And obviously I'll give that person a copy of the recording. That's perfectly fine. Um, but we'll also have it for content base and it'll help us go towards the thousand subscribers. It'll help it. So as you see us doing these, these new things throughout the year, you'll see that one helps the other and kind of going forward. So, um, you know, that is by all means the, you know, I think that's the best way to, to kind of describe some of my goals here. Um, what, what do you guys think? So I, I, I love what, I love what you're saying. My, my question is for the VAs, right? Um, yep. What, what does a VA represent for you in terms of deal flow? Like, do you, are you clear on what that, that number would be or? So what does a VA represent to me as far as deal flow? Yeah. Cause, cause you said, you know, in order for you to bring on the two to three VAs, you need to hit your per month deal. Correct. 
And, okay. and the only reason to bring on a VA is to help you kind of scale and free up your time. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. the idea is that they, they kind of pay for themselves. And that is correct. So yeah. the, the reason why I say that is, is because um, so the two to three VAs, maybe one of those VAs will just strictly be on our YouTube content. Okay. 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 And then the other two VAs will be cold calling. Okay. Okay. So I have work for people to do. You know, I just need to be able to pay them to be able to do it. The company needs to be able to pay them. Right. And not out of my own pocket. Right. Right. 